A server is a computer on which your web host stores the files and databases needed for your website. Whenever an online visitor wants to access your website, their browser sends a request to your server and it transfers the necessary files through the Internet. Your first task on Bluehost is to choose your hosting plan, whether it's shared hosting, VPS hosting, or dedicated hosting. To best understand your choices, we're going to use the analogy of an apartment. Shared hosting is like 6,400 friends all living in a studio apartment. The studio apartment is your server, and each friend is a website. There's only one front door for people to go in and out of, and if too many people try to go in and out at once, there are going to be traffic jams, which we call bandwidth issues. Additionally, there is always going to be competition for the resources inside the apartment, and you won't get to customize any part of that apartment, which is your server setup. There are also cybersecurity issues with 6,400 people sharing the same studio apartment. Someone is inevitably going to leave the door unlocked or the window open. It's bound to happen, and that leaves everyone vulnerable. On the other hand, the rent is really cheap, and you don't need any technical skills to take care of the server since the hosting company will take care of everything. Shared web hosting is usually your best bet if you're new to running a website, you don't plan on having a high volume of traffic, at least not initially, you lack technical knowledge and expertise to maintain your servers, and you're working with a limited budget. Let's take a look at some of the plans that are available on Bluehost. If you're just hosting your Moodle site here, you only need one website. If you're also thinking of having a corporate website, obviously you'll need more. How much storage do you need? Will you be hosting a lot of videos? If so, 50 gigabytes may not be enough for you. Personally, I like having the site backup and the dedicated IP address as options, so I like the pro version if I were using shared hosting. VPS hosting is still like sharing one apartment, or having, in this case, one server, but everyone has their own bedroom where they can customize the space according to their needs. For instance, you can choose the painting, the furniture, the decoration, etc. Your own room on a shared server is called a partition. Within that partition, your Moodle site has its own guaranteed resources, memory, disk space, CPU cores, etc., and you don't have to share any of it with any other users. This makes for a faster and more reliable solution than a shared hosting server, but not as expensive as a dedicated server. Since your server resources, such as memory or processing power, are guaranteed, there's zero to minimal fluctuation in available resources. Issues and traffic surges of other server users don't affect your site. You get super user or root access to your server. You have better privacy as your files and databases are locked from other server users. It's easy to scale, and as your website grows, you can easily upgrade your server resources like RAM, CPU, disk space, bandwidth, etc. The flip side of the coin is that it's more expensive than shared hosting, and it requires more technical knowledge to manage your server. Improperly configured servers may lead to security vulnerabilities. If your Moodle site will have an e-commerce gateway like PayPal or Stripe, I would start by considering this hosting option. I would not run an e-commerce site on shared hosting. Let's look at some of the Bluehost plans that are available. As you can see, you'll need to make some decisions about storage again, but now you also need to think about how much RAM you need. Two cores, by the way, is the minimum that you'll require for your Moodle site. For RAM, here's the general rule of thumb. One gigabyte of RAM can support 50 concurrent users. That means 50 users logging in and working at the same time. But don't think that this two gigabytes of RAM will support 100 concurrent users. Take that number with a grain of salt. Personally, I recommend that you use the calculation that every two gigabytes will support about 60 or 70 concurrent users or you will experience some slowdowns and potential outages. If you're consistently over that, consider upgrading to a larger server, and Bluehost, of course, would be happy to assist you with that. Dedicated hosting is renting a private server, or, in our analogy, your Moodle site lives in the apartment all by itself and shares nothing with anyone else. If you expect you'll have a high volume of traffic, for example, a dedicated server may be your best option for handling it. You may also reduce some security risks with dedicated hosting as your site will be the only one using your server. Hands down, the biggest drawback of dedicated hosting is the increased cost. There's just no way around it. Since there's a single server devoted totally to your Moodle site, your operating costs are inevitably higher.
Bluehost plans, for example, run between $80 and $120 per month, compared to as little as $275 per month for a shared plan. It's also up to you to install and update the necessary security programs. Dedicated hosting is a good option for you if you have an established audience, such as a lot of employees or students, which is likely to result in a large amount of traffic right from the get-go, which, of course, requires more bandwidth of a dedicated server. But you're also going to need the technical knowledge to keep the server updated and tuned. You still need to consider your storage and RAM needs with this option as well. Now, if you need the flexibility of a dedicated server, but you don't have anyone on your team with server administration expertise, there is a suggestion for you. You can hire a company that will handle all of your server maintenance and troubleshooting for you. The company that I use for my personal sites and that I recommend is GetMyAdmin.com, and their plans cost anywhere from $30 to $65 per month per server. You can expect around a four-hour resolution time for a trouble ticket unless there's something that's particularly difficult. The nice part is that they'll do everything server-related for you, including updating software, setting up backup schedules, installing software, monitoring performances, etc. So now that you know about your hosting options, go ahead and make your selection, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll take a tour of your server, look at its settings, and see if it's ready to install Moodle.